are here on the booth of Anouk Le Bourdieck, uh, an art gallery based in Paris, in Le Marais. This is the third time we are doing uh, an exhibition here in Art Paris. We are here introducing different artists of the gallery, like Leo Dorfner, who is doing watercolor and, um, and a painting and sculpture also. Uh, like uh, Michel Mraz, who is a, an artist from Slovakia. We are showing Michel Mraz for the first time in uh, Art Paris. He's doing a painting using acrylic, oil, and also aerosol, because he's coming from the street art. Uh, also Adrien Belgrand, who is uh, exhibiting, um, it's like a realistic painting, really precise and really beautiful, big size painting and also the artist uh, Sun Jan Han, uh, South Korean artist, because it's uh, the, the year of the South Korea, so in Art Paris, so we were inviting an artist. And also the artist, the kid. Every year we are, we are showing uh, the artworks that he did during the year, because he's doing big size uh, this year paintings. Before he was doing drawing with a blue pen, and this year he's really painting um, oil painting and uh, so you can see the big size artworks here it's really impressing uh, the thematic of the kid it's about youth this year particularly the you know like the the fact that you know young young people can be both uh, innocent and on the same way they can be involved in some really sad things and the violence because also the violence of the of the society uh, around around them because today in the world there are big crises uh, you have unemployment you have uh, so social violence and so they have to face uh, a very strong reality and so you can see those young people who look like with injuries uh, so you think it's like anti-violence art it's it's of course it's anti-violent art those faces represent all those young people around the world who have to face a uh, strong, strong and, and, and difficult reality. Um, so it's against violence because it shows the violence. The violence. Before in the past exhibition was pretty really much focusing on all those young people in the United States who are involved in the uh, Hispanic gang, for example. And at the moment where they're born, unfortunately, because they are born in some specific families, they have to they have to deal and to face uh, this reality. And we know that one day, even if they don't want this, they will have to follow the gang and maybe they will have to, to do crime. But that's not what they want and they are victims of this. And at the end, a lot of them are going to jails. This year, it's, this year it's a bit different. Um, it's more, the kid was more doing uh, a generalization. It's more global. It's not about the specific kids in the United States who are uh, members of gang and who are involved since their birth into those gangs. It's more the young people in general around the world who will have to face uh, poverty, will have to face uh, social uh, social problems. Uh, it's called the Lost Generation. Uh, so he was inspired by Hemingway, who was writing in the book uh, Paris est une fête about the Lost Generation. Those people who were taken in the World War One and then after in World War Two, and the kid here is doing a kind of parallel with the young generation nowadays, young generations. Yes, as you can see, that's so. He's one of her 
popular contemporary artist from South Korea. He age is 18, elder person, so really contemporary and avant-garde um, avant artist. You know. From street art up to the different technological new things that is 